a uniform rod AB has mass M and length 2A, a particle of mass 2M is attached to the rod at C, where A to C is 1.5A. The rod rests with its end A on a rough, so friction, horizontal ground. It's held in equilibrium at angle theta by a light string attached to the end at B. The string is perpendicular to the rod. Uh, so let's start drawing our forces on. So what do we have? We have at C, we have a particle mass 2m. So that's 2mg, its weight. The rod is a uniform rod, which means its weight acts down the center of it. And it's got mass m, so weight mg. We have a tension force at B. We are going to have a normal reaction at A. And we're going to have a rough ground, so friction opposing the motion. So friction acting where the rod touches the ground. And we've also got some measurements, so it's length 2a, so the center is a, and to a to c, 1.5a to c. So, part a, explain why the frictional force acting on the rod at A acts horizontally to the right on the diagram. So why is friction going to the right? Because forces left equal forces right, and the tension, or part of the tension, acts to the left. There's no other forces left or right, so friction must be equal to that in the opposite direction. So, forces left equal forces right. There is part of T force acting left. So, T must act right so friction must act right so the friction must act to the right because the force is left must be equal to the force is right tension is t so that t is 2 mg cos theta so If we just want T's and MG's in our question, let's actually draw on these angles here. So these angles here are theta in here. So if we take moments about A, then the R and the friction will be zero. So they'll be out of the question. So we'll just have mg's and t. So we'll take moments about a. So clockwise moments equal anti-clockwise moments. And the moment is always the distance times the perpendicular force. So a times mg cos theta. So a times mg cos theta plus one and a half a times two mg cos theta. There the force is clockwise, anti-clockwise. We've got two a times t. And we want, let's just add these up. So 
we've got A times mg cos theta. One and a half times two is three. So we've got three A mg cos theta equals two A T. All of these A's cancel out, so let's just cancel them. So we've got four mg four mg cos theta equals two t so t is two mg cos theta given that cos theta is three fifths show that the magnitude of the vertical force exerted by the ground on the rod at a so r is equal to 57 mg over 25. So T is, so part C, T is 2 mg cos theta, which is 2 mg times 3 fifths, which is 6 fifths mg. Now we can do forces up equal forces down. So, what angle is this? This is theta in here as well. So force is up. So T cos theta plus R equals going down 3 mg's. So 6 fifths mg times cos theta which is three fifths plus r equals two mg and one mg three mgs so six fifths times three fifths is 18 twenty fifths so 18 twenty fifths mg plus r is three mg so to get r by itself we just need to take 18 25ths mg, so 3 mg take away 18 25ths mg, 3 take away 18 25ths is 57 over 25. That's what we wanted. So R is 57 over 25 mg. Or even in the form they wanted, 57 mg over 25. The coefficient of friction between the rod and the ground is mu. Given the rod is in limiting equilibrium, so friction takes its maximum value, mu r, show that mu is 8 nineteenths. Is so though the forces to the left equal the forces to the right. So T sine theta is to the left and friction is to the right. So T sine theta equals mu R. And we know what T is. T is 6 fifths mg. So 6 fifths mg sine theta. So cos theta is ka adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent's 3, the hypotenuse is 5. The opposite must be 4. It's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. The Pythagoras triple again. So sine theta is so opposite over hypotenuse four fifths and that is mu times r which we just worked out 57 mg over 25 so let's do six fifths times four fifths which will be 24 20 fifths 24 25ths mg 
is mu times 57 twenty fifths mg. So the mg's cancel out, the twenty fifths cancel out. So we've got mu is well fifty seven mu is twenty four. Mu is twenty four over fifty seven. Divide the top and the bottom by three, eight nineteenths.